Hi everybody, I hope you guys are doing awesome. Sorry I keep like moving around the bow and just like all over the place. I don't know. I'm always like, uh. But um, I just want to say I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, We're going to be playing Allegretto today. So that's going to be number 10 on your Suzuki book if you guys have it. It is in the key of D major. We have um, 4, 4, which is just 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and or 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, we have staccatos that are the little dots under each note. And the accents, which are like the sign that looks like this. And it's like a peace sign, but tilted. So we have those marks. We have the track marks, which are the two lines that are at the end of measure one, two, three, four, five. So they're kind of in, in the middle of measure five. Um, and then we have the fermata, the track signs at the end again. And then we start again from the beginning and we're going to end on that. We're going to end on that fifth measure. So make sure you play out through the whole thing. Watch out for the rest. Um, yeah, so let's let's just play through it. You can play with me, and um, or, or if you just want to listen to me, whichever you want to do. So let's do that. So we have a pickup. So um, that should be counted three, four. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. So let's do it. One, two, three, four. One, two. So it was kind of a more of a simple thing. I'm also going to play it for you guys kind of slow. So you just we're going to just do it in half time of that. Um, for those who are kind of like uh, a little bit um, feeling like it's a little too rushed for you. So let's do that. I know I tried in YouTube finding slower tutorials and seeing for this piece. But I actually didn't find any that were slow and fast. So I'm going to kind of cut that one in time. So if we did it in pop, pop, pop. Let's do pop, pop. But we'll keep it in that tempo and um, make sure even if you're playing it slower we're still gonna do the short notes the staccatos and we're gonna do the accents so let's do it one two three four three four three so in three four we're gonna play so one two three four one two <laughs> that's it so that was kind of a slower tempo and that way you're not going to be so like rushed to do it but I think that's that should be a pretty good tempo for those who are kind of like oh I feel like all the ones that I'm watching on YouTube are too fast so let's do that one um and stick to it and make sure that when your kids or it, for yourself or if you're just starting to play violin and you have a piano accompaniment or you look up on YouTube, they are kind of at a faster tempo. So um, if you're going to have somebody playing piano with you to accompany you, you can always have them play it at a slower tempo. So whatever is going to accommodate you. And there's no shame in that. Always just do it. You know, whatever is going to make you feel more comfortable. And also just at your level. Um, so those are just some tips and tricks. But um, thank you guys for watching and tuning in. So um, if you guys have any questions... You can always email me, ask me, uh, the link is down below, it's in the description. And I, get, I really hope the, that you guys have a really awesome day and an awesome week. And um, just, just keep hanging in there, I know things are really tough right now, but you guys are doing great. So, have a really awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching.